Time now for our Spotlight program here on this Monday. As we do every Monday morning, we reserve time for the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce. And Nancy Morrissey steps in the studios. Good morning, Nancy. How are you? Good morning, Steve. Nice to have you in the studios again today. It is wonderful to be here, and it's wonderful Monday. What a, <laughs> I mean, a lot of rain on Saturday, but it was still a wonderful weekend. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned earlier that uh, over the week, 34 inches of rain i had at the double s ranch so, wow yeah that's and that includes tuesday night and saturday afternoon so we could dry a little bit i guess and uh, as long as i guess as i look at the forecast there's a slight chance of showers tonight through thursday but then as we get into friday saturday and sunday as we have another huge weekend planned here in fairfield weather-wise looks pretty nice so i mean for art walk on friday night the weather could not have been nicer i I'm mentioned earlier that we drove through about uh, I, we, I had a ball game with Frank, and so we drove through, back through town about 10 o'clock, and it was just still packed. On, it was uh, literally a Chamber of Commerce evening. It, it, it was, and we're looking for one on Saturday night, too, for the All Things Italian. It's, it's rained the last couple of years, so we're knocking on wood. Is this countertop wood? Everybody, I'm knocking on wood. <laughs> Under, underneath of it is. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's jump right into it. Of course, you can follow along as well if you sign up for the Monday morning newsletters called The Week That Will be it's sort of the calendar event that happens through the week and looks ahead a little bit and also you can find the entire calendar online at fairfieldiowa.com that's the chamber's website but let's look at it real quickly a uh, new chamber member this week we do we have lee Far pharmacy and lee pharmacy is uh, located in kiyosakwa it's they have first aid cough and cold durable medical equipment they have hallmark cards those are getting harder and harder to find. Uh, Russell Stouffer candies, uh, root candles, gifts, uh, photo processing. Uh, Larry Thomas, our Larry Thomas, who uh, used to be here in Fairfield. He was the pharmacist for years and years at Easter Foods and Econo Foods. Uh, he is now the owner, along with his wife, Julie, in uh Lee Pharmacy down in Kiyosakwa. Uh, more information, of course, can be found on our chamber website for all our chamber me members. And our website is uh, www.fairfieldiowa.com. And don't forget, they deliver to Fairfield. They do. They do. They do. Yeah. That's a wonderful service. That's right. All right. Member to member spotlight this week. Our member to member spotlight is the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. They are having 10% off of meeting rooms, theater, or business pavilion rental, um, wonderful. Of course, we all know how wonderful the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center is. And then chamber members get an additional 10% off of things that they want to attend or host or hold at the uh, in either the, the Sondheim Center or the for the Performing Arts or the, the Arts and Convention Center side uh, also. So that is the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center, our member-to-member -member spotlight for the week. All right. It is a very, well, we had a very busy weekend. You mentioned Art Walk. The Power Wagons are in town for the I 27th know. Annual Power Wagon Rally. They we were beautiful. Even, we were out, um, I guess it was Friday night, and we were out west of town, and we drove through there, too, and, and looked at all, got a sneak peek of all the vehicles out there. I mean, um some are are really quite old looking some have been so redone it's amazing the um, uh, names that are on, who owns the trucks are on the side of the the vehicles also and uh, uh, like Camp Courageous even has one and, and different ones like that so um, we welcome them I hate to see them go but they'll be back next year next year same yep. week first weekend in June yes yeah. all right uh, so we kick off a very busy week this week let's jump right into our calendar all right events. Monday that's today the Mississippi Regional Valley Blood Center is having a blood drive at Noah's Ark um, by the uh, Noah's Ark a Animal Foundation it's from 2 to 7 p.m. Uh, it's by appointment only so make sure you call out there of course their information is on our chamber website uh, we're having a Citizen of the Year meeting tonight at 4.30 at the Jefferson County Health Center, and it's going to be in the Medical Office Building meeting room. Um, you know, the Chamber has so many different events, uh, weekly, much less monthly, and annually and just because we had our annual banquet for this year uh, doesn't mean we're not planning it already for next year in fact we uh, we're going to be talking about our men's and ladies blast off 
today also, which is this week and next week. And we're already talking and discussing and making plans for next year also. So anyway, we're having the citizen of the year, just uh, kind of setting some parameters and, and discussing things to be in past and everything. So uh, haven't had that for a long time. It's 4.30 this afternoon? Yep, at the Jefferson County Health Center Medical Building Meeting Room. Looks like a busy Tuesday on your calendar. It is. We're having the ambassador meeting at 9.30 in the chamber boardroom. Uh, then right after that is going to be an ambassador visit with AFLAC. Uh, and their, that contact person for them is Christina McLean. That's going to be at 10.15, and that's going to be at the chamber office at 10 o'clock 10 o'clock and six o'clock on tuesday also is part two of the library's basic pc and internet skills courses um, of course this is going to be on technology tuesdays what they have called that at the library and then at 7 30 that night at orpheum theater is team trivia then Wednesday is the Fairfield Farmers Market in Howard Park, of course, from 3 to 6. Aquinas Club is having their uh, weekly Fairfield meeting and program at the McElhaney House at 545. Then at from 8 to 10 at Cafe Paradiso is open mic night. And then the Burning Oak Restaurant and Bar is from 9 to 12. And also from 10 to 12 at the Red Rock Tavern. So uh, open mic night is Wednesdays in, in Fairfield at those three different locations. <laughs> Thursday, we're having our board of directors meeting, the, the Chambers Board of Directors meeting. It's going to be at Best Western Fairfield Inn, uh, Kokomo's Cafe. That's at noon. Then um, there's going to be a practice rounds for all the participants in the men's blast off. So Thursday is the practice round, and there's going to be a steak dinner all for all uh, people in the all men in the uh, men's blast off. That's going to be at the Fairfield Golf and Country Club. So this Thursday and Friday is the men's blast off presented by Jackson Medical Supply. Uh, the practice round can be held anytime on Saturday. The Dinner is approximately from 6 to, to 8. We can't, you know, lock down a time because go golfers are doing their practice rounds. So whenever they're done, they come on in and, and have their steak. Icon Thursday. Uh, it's going to be about Renoir, uh, and it's going to be a French romantic drama film. That's at Icon. The doors open at 7.30. It's a free will offering for me members or $2. That's to cover refreshments. And then the film starts at 8.00. At the Fairfield, the Fairfield Area Community Theater Silver Anniversary Revival Review is at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. It's going to be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7.30. There's also a matinee on Sunday at 2 o'clock. The review show will focus on many favorite songs from the past 25 years, um, as well as identifying the other various shows that they've performed. The Fairfield Area Community Theater is celebrating their 25th anniversary. That's remarkable. And I believe they play, they have performances on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, At and, in a, and a Sunday matinee. Yep. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's going to be at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. Now, the... Um, person that kind of pulls that all together is Scott Sletka, and Scott Sletka was the... Um, one of the citizen of the years this year at the chamber ba banquet. So congratulations again, Scott. Uh, Friday, 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 da 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 da, da men's blast off. Uh, it takes a lot of planning to have somebody with that many people coming to golf and not just to golf, but to eat dinner and two days of golf and uh, practice round. And we have prizes and gifts and, and contests and, Lots happening. So the men's blast off. Uh, the you can register through today. At this point, right now, we have 19 men's teams. Uh, that's a good number of teams. Uh, the day starts with the registration beginning at eight, and then uh, 
the shotgun starts starts at nine and then they golf all day long with lunch in there and prizes and contests like i said raffles and it's a fun day it really is a fun day that's friday uh also there's a free film at the fairfield public library 7 30 it's an action drama focusing on an unlikely world war ii platoon tasked by fdr with going into germany to rescue artistic masterpieces from nazi thieves and returning them to their rightful owners um, that's supposed to be a very excellent film. That's Friday at 7.30. Didn't... Uh, George Clooney? Yes, yeah. And who doesn't like George Clooney? Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think George Clooney... We, now, we can't tell you the name of this movie, but it's monumental about these men. And uh, They did monumental things, they too. Did, these men did. They did. George Clooney, I believe uh, Bill Murray, John Goodman that's is in That's right, it. yeah. yeah. It's quite, a, quite a cast. Yes, it is. Based on a true story. Monu so, monumental task these men took on in World War II. That would kind of say they these men were doing monumental things. They're right. That's exactly right. Yes. Okay. Saturday, Fairfield Farmers Market, Italianissimo with Lionel Butari and uh, an Italian bagpiper, uh, Jean Parisi, at Howard Park from eight to one. Uh, I love how they bring in entertainment besides just everything else that you can do at Howard Park with the with the benches and the tables and the the um, the things for the kids to do you you can make it a, a really nice morning event and shop while you're at it whether it's flowers or food or jewelry or or honey or meat or eggs it's there at Fairfield's Farmer's Market. That's 8 to t 1 on Saturday. Then there's going to be a museum crawl at the uh, at the Carnegie Historical Museum. It's from 9 to 5. Please, if you're interested in this, uh, go to the chamber. We have brochures there. Uh, there's going to be um, other museums participating, obviously, because it is a museum crawl, but at least make sure you go to Fairfield's Carnegie Museum, which is in the top floor of the old library on South Court Street. It's where Indian Hills Community Center is, the extension uh, part of it, uh, Fairfield's extension, and that's the museum crawl. Also, hey, just real yes. quickly on the museum crawl, uh, Nancy, this is part of a, I, I want to say a nine county event. It's huge. And also going on, um, Mosdam Barnes is part of that museum crawl, and on Saturday they will be having demonstrations out there. They'll actually be putting up hay using the Loudon machinery, the Loudon equipment with horses and, and uh, putting up hay into the mouth the, the old-fashioned way. And that's part of the museum crawl. Also, the Gothic House in Eldon, the Johnny Clock Museum in um, Lockridge. Lockridge is mm -hmm. taking part of that as well. So, But I believe there's nine counties in southeast Iowa taking part of that. So, again, pick up the brochure and uh, make a day of it on Saturday right. going around right. and checking out our history. Remember, the chamber is off open Monday through uh, Friday, 8 to noon and 1 to 5. Then there is Cedar Valley Winery is having their fifth and anniversary celebration. It starts at 10. Uh, there's also going to be entertainment. Musician Grant Rogers will be playing from 4 to 5. And Says Who, that's S-E-Z, that's interesting. Says Who will be performing from 6 to 9. Uh, that's at Cedar Valley Winery's fifth anniversary celebration. And then, this is another huge weekend. It's All Things Italian Festival right here in Fairfield on the square from 5 to 10. They're going to do presentations of Italian art, food, and culture throughout the day. Uh, it's going to be Fairfield Town Square is going to be transformed into an Italian piazza from 5 to 10. There's going to be over 1,500 freshly filled cannoli and authentic Italian desserts. Uh, more than 1,000 homemade lasagna dinners are cooked, baked, and served and eaten. <laughs> Live performances of traditional Italian music and dance, face painting for children, free family fun, uh, Italian lawn, uh, bowling, what's that called? Ba baki? Ba bocce ball. Bocce ball, that's it. That bocce ball. In fact, John and I have that game, ba bocce ball. It's, it's a fun game. 
Uh, there's going to be streets. You, you play the Chuck. you play the, uh, the the Irish version though, don't you? We do. The balls are all green. No. <laughs> uh, there's going to be street chalk art um, performances during the evening. Ital- Italian automobiles and motorcycles, strolling musicians, live outdoor concerts. Um, Lots, 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 lots. Please put it on your ke- calendar to go to All Things Italian Street Festival once again this year. Also on Saturday, real quickly, got a quick note that the uh, Jefferson County Parks will be having their oh, uh, yes. Dutch oven cook-off yes, on Saturday. Yes, That's I, in the morning. That's what? In the morning. I think it starts yes. around 9 o'clock in the morning. Well, you can go out there, too. Uh, and at some point, and and buy tickets, and go around and and take taste samples. Yeah, they of give you a spoon. They do it, it, one little tiny spoon, but trust me, you'll get full. Go around <laughs> tasting everything again and again and again. So yeah. yeah, we were not able to go last year, but we've gone in years past, and it's 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 just fun. It's a lot so of fun. so interesting. I I hope that they're able to do something like this for the hundred and seventy fifth too. I mean because. Um, this type of cooking goes back years and years and years and and uh fairfield celebrating its 175th so uh, i know therese kaminsky could come up with a bunch of different interesting things to help fairfield celebrate that a very very busy weekend on tap and then yes. it wraps up on sunday with uh, as we mentioned facts uh, silver anniversary review two o'clock matinee and then uh, an irish jam an irish jam yep at cafe paradiso there this week at the orpheum theater tuesday through thursday there's two showings seven and nine thirty is the x-men days of the future past um like i've said before we're very fortunate to have a movie theater here in fairfield once again that includes a restaurant and beverage bar and and um also new films yeah exactly yeah. right yeah very busy week but there's also things on the horizon we need to take note you mentioned the men's blast off this week but then next week ladies, is the ladies blast, blast off. off yep we're still taking uh applications for that so please stop in at the chamber you can also find it on the chamber website uh, www.fairfieldiowa.com go to the blogs and uh, click on the blog, and it gives you the registration form for both of those events. Uh, really quickly, June 24th, mark your calendar for that. There's going to be a business after hours at the uh, Sunnybrook Assisted Living. So, ah, and Fairfest, Fairfest too. I mean, one week from Friday, Fairfest kicks off. Here in two Fair- weeks. No, it's the 21th, isn't it? Well, two weeks from this Friday. A week from this coming oh, yeah. Friday. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Time flies. It's a very busy, very, very busy. Again, all the (laughs) items that we talked about are available online at fairfieldiowa.com on the calendar of events, or you can sign up for the week that will be the Monday morning newsletter that comes out from the Chamber of Commerce. So, Nancy, we've run out of time. I know you got to get back to the office because it is very, very busy this week. It is. It is. You have a wonderful week. Thank you. It's our friend Nancy Morrissey from the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce. And again, the week that will be the Monday morning newsletter, uh, you can email the chamber and uh, Lindsay will send that out to your email box as well. Stay tuned. Look at the markets just around the corner here on KMCD.